Uh, one man from Burnley has been making new businesses very happy. With many entrepreneurs being refused financial help from high street lenders, local Dave Fishwick set up his own loan company, now known as the Bank of Dave. Like Bank of Dave. Um, having lent almost £30 million over the last decade, we meet the man who put his money where his mouth is and hear from some of the people forever in his debt. Back in 2012, Dave Fishwick, an entrepreneur from Burnley, hatched a plan to take on the banking industry. The original idea was to help people who were struggling to borrow money from the high street bank. And had it all filmed for a TV show. This is my idea. I opened a tiny little bank in Burnley Centre with very low overheads. Not really up to much, is it? No. Give people 5% interest on the savings, we then take that money and lend it out to local people. And this is the big one. Any profit that's left after the overheads are paid, I give it to charity. Using all his own money and with the help of his bank manager mate, David Henshaw, they set about convincing the banking association they were worth taking seriously. And the Bank of Dave was born. Now officially known as the Burnley Savings and Loans Company, this year it celebrates its 10th anniversary. We've helped people over the last 10 years give us millions of pounds and we've given the best rate of interest. We've then took that money and lent millions out to businesses who can't borrow from the High Street Bank and lots of people who want to get money for a car, a van, a truck, a piece of machinery. And then we've took the profit from that and give it to charity. Dave and David are able to offer loans to local people who have been refused by high street banks because they look at each loan application individually in detail. We find today that a lot of the banks are not, not really interested in talking to anyone. All they want to do is an instant decision, the credit score says yes or no and that's the end of the story. So they come to us and what do we do which is different? Whilst we look at all the past and the current credit, we also look at the person and we try and find out what the reason is behind the problems. And if we can do something, we will. We, won't, we don't accept everyone, because obviously, like everything else, we have to look after the, the people's money who who's give us deposits. Boat builder Sean originally borrowed £1,700 for a polytunnel to cover his boats, meaning that he could continue working in bad weather. I needed help uh, financially with setting up this new business and I wasn't having much luck with the banks, so I went to Dave and he helped me out. This is proper, isn't it? Sean and Dave have maintained their working relationship over the past 10 years, with Sean returning to use Dave's services to grow his business after that first investment. I remember the first time I come, 10 years ago, I knew that you'd met money because you were so passionate about yeah. it. So you started with one, yeah, and then two, yeah. And then, how many have you built now in total over the last 10 years? This is the 54th boat. 54th? Yeah, 54, yeah. In total, Dave and his team have loaned out nearly £30 million over the past 10 years. This is Sofa Max near Burnley. Its owner, Marco Rouge, originally saved with Bank of Dave. So when he needed to finance a new lorry to help with deliveries, he knew where to go for help. How are you? Good. Fabulous. A lot of the normal banks wouldn't lend to us, even though we paid our bills, we didn't owe any money to anybody, but the computer says no, and uh, Dave's bank financed us, and that, that really saved us. My word, look at that. Oh now you can swivel it around. I still use his financial services for, the, you know, customers can borrow money to buy a sofa. Um, it, the rate of uh, interest is reasonable. It's not like a loan shark. It's, it's just a fair and square uh, service that he provides. <laughs> That's proper. Dave's been really, really important to the survival of this business. I'm not even sure it would even be here without uh, using Bank of Dave. But even with Dave's hands-on personal approach, lending money doesn't come without risks. We've got 5% bad debt, which we accept as part of the risk that we take. But the point I must make is that most people want to pay us back. It's only because of circumstances later on which makes them unable to. Things like divorces, things like coming out of work, uh, things like being ill, problems like that, and suddenly can't function. Dave mainly offers business loans to people in Lancashire, Yorkshire and Greater Manchester. 
but he wants others to set up their own banks further afield. We continue to lend into the community. What I would love to see as a long-term goal is there's just over 1,000 large towns and cities in the UK. If you could put a bank of Dave or a bank of Sam or a bank of Safia in one of those large towns and cities, there's then going to be millions of people going to be able to borrow money. That would be a fantastic thing. And of course, on his home patch, Dave wants to carry on doing what he's doing and more. My ultimate goal in life is I'm going to give over 90% of my money away. It's going to go back to society where it belongs and where it can do the most good. Some will be interest-free loans, some will be for charities, and some will be individuals that just need help. And I'm going to enjoy doing that. He's a man with a plan. He's doing a brilliant job in the community, Honestly, isn't he? so fantastic. Hopefully it's spread around Amazing. the UK too. Now then, so...